Join us as we give an in-depth presentation on cement 3D printing to the Florida Community Development Association. Portable, flexible, and user-friendly is our SCARA Elite Roadrunner Cement 3D Printer. In May 2024, the Florida Community Development Association held its 48th annual conference and training workshop at a resort hotel in Jensen Beach, Florida. Representatives from multiple counties participating in the event were eager to learn more about cement 3D printing. They had questions like how the whole process works, how different it is compared to traditional construction and how practical this new technology is. We at 3D Potter and ProBuild 3D had the opportunity to assemble one of our SCAR Elite Roadrunner printers on top of a 20 foot long truck trailer with a standard gas generator and a laptop. After all, our equipment only needs one 110 volt outlet for the printer and a 220 volt for the cement pump. If you are using our continuous mixing station, you will only need another 220 volt outlet. Super easy and practical. No 3880 nor 480 volt. No three phase. A couple of hours later, we headed to an open spot at the hotel's parking lot to perform a live printing session and a quick presentation with questions and answers from the audience. Upon arriving there, it took us 15 minutes to find a good spot, unload the truck, fire up the generator, and set up our system to 3D print. Since our printers generate their own Wi-Fi signal and no fancy software or computers are required, you can control the printer with your cell phone or a tablet if you want to. There is no need to waste time and money with complicated technology that requires experts and highly specialized labor to use. While the more than 120 participants started to group around the equipment, our crew welcomed everybody and gave a quick introduction about the equipment, technology, and our plans to 3D print in front of their eyes. Special thanks to Will Crawford from the CDC of Tampa for co-facilitating the presentation with us, sharing some customer experiences, expectations, and answering multiple questions. As one of our customers, the CDC of Tampa acquired two fully loaded SCARA Elite Roadrunner printers to 3D print affordable homes and auxiliary dwelling units in the Tampa Bay area. Talking about affordable housing and ADUs, we've decided to 3D print two different styles of wall segment modules, like the ones you assemble to build the full wall on site, a corner wall segment and a straight wall segment, so we could show different shapes and ways of connecting pieces. As we can see in this video, the system is capable of delivering high quality layers at speeds of up to 100 and 120 millimeters per second in a very consistent way. The printer itself can go up to 300 millimeters per second. However, no cementitious or geopolymer material is available currently to print at that kind of speed, at least for now. The materials shown here are evolving so fast, every day is a new day when it comes to possibilities about materials, our strong partnership with Sika enables us to produce walls and objects with high compression strengths, around 7,200 PSI, excellent resistance to fire and water, and great finishing. The new Secrete 7333D is our favorite option since it is a 1K material with superior performance and already uses 65% less Portland cement in its formulation. It is therefore classified as a sustainable material in addition to all other advantages. It was a great afternoon in sunny Jensen Beach where we had the pleasure of demonstrating the capabilities of our products. We shared our vision to be better, faster, cheaper, smarter, answered questions from the audience, and got many key players in the community development sector excited about cement 3D printing. This technology evolves extremely fast and can contribute to solving the housing crises in the USA and worldwide if used right. 